What's up everybody? This is Kyle Thumb with another video to help homeowners in America to understand the benefits of going solar. So today we're going to be talking about one of the most common questions that people ask. And it's also probably one of the more complicated ones to answer. How much do solar panels cost? So just to get this out of the way, it is a complicated answer, but just to give you an answer right off the bat, on average, a solar system for a home in the United States costs on average of $16,168. There's a range, and on the cheap siding costs as little as four or $5,000, and on the expensive siding costs $30,000 or more. So how do we figure out what factors determine the cost of solar for your home? So let's just go ahead, let's get into it, let's dive in, and let's go over it. Number one, why is the price of solar panels confusing? So let's just get this out of the way. Why solar panel pricing is complicated and why it even requires a full video to explain. Um, if Obviously if it was simple, you'd be able to go down to the solar panel lot, um, you could have solar panels lined up and they'd have those stickers that say, the price for this array is $21,999 and this would be the shortest video ever. So now let's break it down and explain the factors that determine the price of going solar for your home. The number one factor and the biggest factor by far is the average energy usage. The primary reason that solar panels are priced differently uh, is because no two households are exactly the same. And no two households use the same amount of electricity or the same electricity at the same times. Someone who is mining Bitcoin in their basement is going to use a lot more electricity than someone who only turns on the air conditioning once a year. Using more electricity means that you would need more solar panels to cover your electricity. And more panels equals more cost. It's really as simple as that. All right, so factor number two is your geographic location. So solar panels are more available in certain markets and especially in highly competitive markets, um, it does en end up impacting the end cost. So generally speaking, markets like Arizona and Nevada and New Jersey and Delaware and Utah, they're gonna have some of the cheapest solar pricing that you will find. In other places like Idaho, Colorado, Iowa, New York and Washington DC, they're gonna have some of the more expensive pricing. Solar can make sense in the right situation. So it's important to know that even though every state is not exactly the same, it doesn't mean that going solar in one of those more expensive states won't make sense. Factor number three is amount of sunlight. So <laughs> this one I hope is a no brainer. Um, it's obvious, but uh, some people don't necessarily wrap their heads around the concept that some states get more sun than other states. And what that means is that the exact same solar panels, the exact same solar array pointing in the exact same direction will produce more electricity and provide you with more bill relief in Arizona than it would in Wisconsin. The next factor is different manufacturing brands. So just like anything, not all solar panels are created equal. There are lower quality panels and there are higher quality panels. There are panels that are made overseas, there are panels that are made here in America. There's panels that look really sleek, and there's also panels that kind of look a bit ugly. And just like everything, there are cheap options and there are expensive options. And the panels that you choose to put on your home will change the pricing by quite a bit. The next factor that impacts pricing is the actual characteristics of your home and your roof. When it comes to your home, there are three things that affect the size of your solar array the direction your roof faces, the amount of roof space or the size of your roof, and your roof's pitch. So how steep or not steep is your roof? The amount of slope that your roof has. So ideally, your house would have a perfect south facing roof that has a perfect pitch, is gonna collect as much sun as you could possibly hope for. But as we know, the perfect house and the perfect roof isn't always the case. But the good news is that a perfect roof is in no way required. It just means that the panels will produce slightly less energy and therefore more panels are required. And that is why the characteristics of your home and your roof impact the overall pricing. And that's why that you have to consider those when researching solar. Another thing that impacts the pricing of solar panels is local incentives and rebate. As you probably know, the federal government has an awesome solar tax credit, 26% um, that you get for going solar. 
And if you're not familiar with the tax credit, then I recommend that you check out the video that I made to explain it. Um, I'm gonna put a link in the description down below. And while the federal tax credit is awesome and it results in you basically getting over a fourth of the cost that you're spending on solar, getting that back so that you can use it for taxes, I think that's even cooler is that many state and local programs exist that will provide you with even more of a discount. For that reason, the area in which you live and the power company that you have will help us to determine if you can reduce the price of solar by thousands of dollars. And that's why solar companies typically want to ask you a few questions before giving you an estimate on pricing. Another factor that impacts the pricing of solar panels is how you choose to pay for them. So there's a bunch of different options um, when considering making the switch to solar and each of the different financing options will have an impact on the overall cost of the system. First option, if we purchase the panels outright with cash. So paying for the systems outright with cash is by far the best option, but it's also the least common. As we mentioned before, there's a lot of people out there that maybe want to make the switch to solar, but maybe they don't have 20 or $25,000 sitting in their bank that they can use on a solar system. So that leads us to option two, which is purchase with a loan. So purchasing with the solar loan is the most common option and solar loan options are offered by almost every single solar installer that you've ever come across. And solar loans allow you to actually own the panels for an affordable monthly rate. The term of the solar loan can be anywhere between five and 25 years. And even though you're only paying on a monthly basis and hopefully a low monthly amount, you still get to claim all the incentives and the tax benefits. The last option, option three, is actually leasing the solar system. So this is recommended if ownership is not an option um, and then you can look to lease the panels and in this situation the homeowner would still gain the attractive benefits of solar such as having a low monthly payment but the company that you're leasing them from they're going to maintain the ownership of the panels and thus they're going to take advantage of the federal tax credit depending on which option you choose as far as financing the panels it does impact the overall cost with all of those taking into account, here are some key takeaways and the bottom line um, when it comes to what is the price of solar panels. As I mentioned before, the average cost of installing solar panels is about $16,000, but the typical range is anywhere from $10,000 to $30,000. Another key takeaway is that the cost of solar panels has fallen by 20% in the last five years, and we're now kind of at an all-time low. Uh, it's the perfect window to buy um, in the next two years before the solar tax credit goes away forever. Still though, the exact cost of solar for your home does depend on your specific situation, all those things that I outlined above. So if you're interested in finding out how much solar might cost for your home, then I recommend that you talk to a solar professional and get an estimate for your home. And if you would like to get a free estimate and a solar savings report, without the pressure of a sales pitch, then please click the link in the description down below and take our 30 second solar quiz.